Hey YouTube, what I've got for you guys today is my Marauder. This is a first generation. It's 13 years old. I bought it new in 10. I think they had just come out. I love this. Made in the USA. I don't know if the, I think they stopped printing that on there after a while, like in the first year. Um, this is a PCP, which stands for pre-charge pneumatic. It's a uh, one of the two PCPs I have. I don't tend to shoot it a lot. Um, I just, I charged this gun up before I went to shoot it, up to 3,000. I've shot 30 pellets through it so far. And where were we at there? So it looks like, uh, was that 22, 24? Looks like I'm around 2,500. Uh, PSI so I'm guessing I don't know I don't know how the curve works if I shoot 60 it drops it to 2,000 I generally don't want to go lower than that because I really dislike pumping it up it's the reason I don't shoot the gun much if you're new to PCPs what the one of the downsides of them is you have to have a pump in this case I have an FX air guns pump it's made in sweden i think back if i remember i when back when i bought my marauder i had to buy it through air guns of arizona because it wasn't uh, something that you, you saw on amazon and they recommended i get this fx air guns pump because they said the benjamin one it, that they sold uh didn't hold up very well and i'd say they're right because while that pump doesn't have while my pump doesn't have a ton of use on it it has lasted 13 years and i've had i haven't had to do anything to it so that's i like that um, the fill is right here, this cap, and then you put the fitting on there and you pump it up. Note that this has a brace on it, um, but it actually doesn't touch the barrel shroud. There's an air gap there. Uh, this is a silenced PCP, so it's got kind of a weird twanging noise when you shoot it, but it doesn't really leave, have much of a report. It's got a high comb on the stock. It, didn't come with sight, so you have to have a scope. The receiver has, looks like an 11 millimeter dovetail. I added sling swivels to it. It's got a nice rubber butt pad. And it has no recoil, so it's kind of funny that it's got a, a recoil absorbing butt pad on it. But I do like when they do put rubber because you lean it against something that's not gonna slide on the floor. Trigger, I find it to be very good. I don't have any complaints about the trigger. Your safety's right here. Looks like it's got an ambidextrous, for your cheek anyway, for right and left-handed shooters. It's a right-hand bolt. And look at the size of the bolt on here. There's a quarter. It's much larger than what you find on a 362 or a Benjamin 392, 397. This is a magazine-fed air gun. It holds 10, it holds 10 pellets in a rotary-type magazine. This one's 22 caliber, so I need to reload it. To remove the magazine, you pull the bolt back, and then it's like a press fit. It just clicks in there. I've been shooting Crossman Premier's domed pellets that you can buy at Walmart, and they seem to be working pretty decent. Okay, so to load the magazine, you take this and rotate it around. And then you drop the pellet in. You got to make sure you put your finger over this hole or else the pellet will drop right through. So you get that one in and then you're fine. And then it's just a matter of dropping pellets inside. And they, sometimes they'll hang up a little bit. And then I just kind of smack the magazine on the table or with your hand and then it'll go all the way through. It looks like these are all feeding fine. Oh, see that one hung up? See how it did that? And then I'll just go... Then I'll just drop it a little bit and that'll seat the pellet. So with the magazine, you have limitations as to how long of a pellet you can use. So that's a downside, you know, pros and cons to everything. I think they make a single feet, single shot tray for these. I've not gotten one, but I probably should because it just kind of slows you down. Uh, when you're when you're shooting uh, silhouettes or at targets, so this magazine's all loaded up. I actually have two two or three more of these. Um, 
they have a little Allen head screw there. So you can actually take these apart if you need to. And uh, they, they these don't have hundreds and hundreds of rounds through them. Um, they've stood the test of time. I mean, they're 13 years old. Everything still works, but I haven't uh, shot these over and over and over and over again. So I'm sure there's information out there about the longevity of them. And then you just go and get it clicked in there. And I like it shows you from the back, you can tell. So it's on shot number one and it'll rotate through. You'll see, and once it goes to, I think, shot number 10 uh, and you shoot, you can't, it, 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 um, it rotates and prevents you from pushing the bolt forward so you know you're empty, so you don't end up dry firing it. So that's a really nice feature. Kind of making sure the gun's sighted in for 50 yards and let's go see how I did. I've got the target set way out there at uh, 50 yards. So I was using some flat nose Crossman pellets and they were pretty terrible. And then I started shooting the premieres and I'm shooting a little high, but there's a quarter. So there's a quarter, not bad. And um, I haven't even, I've never cleaned the barrel of the Marauder in the 13 years I've had it. So I think I'm good enough that I can start taking out some silhouettes. So let's try that next. <laughs> Pretty satisfying smack. Thing hits with some force, doesn't it? Oh, it was a piggy. Okay, I just set up two rams, two pigs, two turkeys, another pig, and then a chicken. 50 yards. See how I can do with the Marauder. All right, guys, let's take some shots at these. I'm using the Crossman Premier domed pellets. I've got 10 rounds loaded up. Let's see how I do. Thing hits pretty hard. <laughs> okay, here's a pig. Oh, awesome. <laughs> ah, this is a turkey. A little harder to hit. Ah, I'm overshooting him. There we go. This is another turkey. There we go. Last shot. A pig. And we got a chicken. I don't know about the chicken. We'll see. That's a really small target at 50 yards. All right. Let's see if I can hit that chicken. Right over it, the top. Oh, I brushed him. I came close. Not yet. <laughs> I hit just underneath him. Challenging target. What do I shot five? Oh man, he's like turned to me. So okay guys, there you go. That's the first generation Crossman Marauder. Really nice stock. It's a quality gun. 13 years, I haven't had a single issue with it. It just works. I haven't shot, I don't shoot it a ton, but it works when I need it to. Quite nice. Well, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.